Moving on now, and with so many Australians forced to spend more time at home and school holidays just around the corner, we're looking for ways to stay entertained and TV streaming services are giving Aussies more choice than ever. Now the new Paramount channel is set to offer up even more content. But we can't afford them all, so which streaming option offers the best bang for your buck? And are they really that much different than what you can get from the major networks for free? Good evening and welcome to television. No, you're not taking the Kingswood anywhere. Take a bus. Take a train. Everybody needs good neighbours. It wasn't so long ago that Australia only had four channels to choose from. Now we have more choice than ever before, with content produced around the world available to watch when we're ready to watch it. Streaming services in Australia are extremely popular. More than two in three Australians have access to Netflix and a host of newcomers, so extremely popular. There are currently over 20 streaming services available. Those most familiar to us include Netflix. Their premium package will set you back about 20 bucks a month. But there are also other options you can buy for half the price. Disney Plus, Stan and Binge are also popular in Australia. A basic package on those services will set you back around $10 a month. One of the cheapest options is Amazon at $7 a month. And now a new player, Paramount Plus, is giving us even more choice. We've got all the Paramount movies like Top Gun and Anchorman. Uh, it's $9 a month, so uh, this is very affordable. Uh, you're also going to get live coverage of the A-League and W-League uh, soccer. So uh, if, if you're a fan of that, uh, you get to watch those games live. But with millions of Aussies subscribed to more than one streaming service, maximising bang for buck could be as simple as sharing with someone else. We found that uh, about two in five Australians already do this, so with a, with a friend or a family. You can buy one, they can buy the other, and, and you can share. A lot of the platforms allow you to have multiple accounts connected to, uh, to one sign-in. Other tips to consider include checking the shows being offered and cancelling those with similar content and taking advantage of free trial periods. If you're on the fence about any of these streaming apps, uh, there are free trial periods for all except for Netflix and Disney. It's from seven days to, in Stan's case, 30 days. And remember, you don't always have to pay. Australia now has many digital channels packed with hours of premium content that won't cost you a cent. Mm, pretty good, huh?